hey guys what's up it's gabby and welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be taking you guys along with me as i completely make over and refinish this dining table my parents have had this dining table for as long as i can remember and over the years my sisters and i completely destroyed this table with just nail painting and projects and so in today's video i wanted to surprise my parents by completely renovating and restoring this table and i totally think that with a fresh coat of paint i can make this table look completely brand new before we get started be sure to like this video and as always be sure to hit subscribe if you enjoy all things home decor diy furniture flips and room makeovers now without further ado let's get on with the video okay so since this dining table is made of wood i really wanted to stain it as opposed to painting it before i get started on exactly what i did these are the supplies that i picked up from home depot i will definitely leave a full shopping list down below for you guys in case you're trying to do a project similar to this i first started off by removing the paint using this stripping gel before applying it to the entire table i tried it on just a small test area just to make sure it wasn't going to like completely destroy the table and later okay so it's been about 30 minutes let's go ahead and try it oh yep it is working I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to the rest of the table and hopefully by the end of the day it will all be stripped okay so after testing a small area and determining that the stripping gel was not going to burn my table to the ground i decided that it was safe to use on the entire table so i went ahead and removed the glass and gave the entire table a good wipe down the table was pretty dirty <laughs> After wiping down the table very well, I went ahead and applied a thick layer of the stripping gel. This was my first time stripping furniture, and so I decided to go with the citrus strip. This was one that I've seen plenty of people used. I went ahead and applied it using a cheap disposable brush, nothing special, and I just put it on every single crevice of the table. All right, so I just finished applying all of the stripping gel and it seems to be working all of that has come off so far and i haven't even started scraping so i'm just gonna let this sit for about uh maybe 30 minutes to an hour before i start scraping it off i'm gonna go eat because i am starving more moments later all right so good news and bad news good news is that it's working as you can see a lot of it is coming off however i am gonna need to apply a second coat so that it can all come off just an update i google searched and learned that if you wrap your furniture piece in plastic wrap like this it'll keep the stripping gel from drying out so let's see if it works so a few hours later i came back and started scraping off all of the citrus gel from the table using a plastic scraping tool at this point i'm not gonna lie i was starting to get frustrated with this project it was starting to get dark this stain removal process was taking a lot longer than i thought it would and i was getting tore up by mosquitoes but thankfully my brother-in-law was there to help me remove as much of the stain as we could with these scraping tools thousands of tears later good morning everyone it is the next day so this is what the table is looking like i'm not gonna lie to you guys yesterday i was really not feeling the greatest my spirits were definitely crushed but looking at it with fresh eyes this morning i definitely feel much better after i let the gel sit in the saran wrap for a while i took it out however it was starting to get dark so i couldn't really see much of the table but we just scraped off as much as we could so as you can see it really did work so this is what the tables looking like um you can see that i completely missed certain parts like that leg over there but we'll go ahead and tackle it so the next day with a clear mind and some rest i decided to come back to the table and to scrape off as much of the citrus gel as i could i went in using this mineral spirits and this wire brush and just scraped off all of the citrus gel i missed from the night before and it worked so well honestly when it comes to projects like this it's really important to be patient and take your time these projects never go as quickly as you think they'll go so that's something that i really learned when doing this table renovation okay so i finished scraping down the table with the mineral spirits and then wiping it off with the cloth 
And this is what it's looking like. It's looking much better than this morning. I went ahead and picked up a sander from Home Depot and I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a good sanding and then hopefully after all of that, all of the stain will be completely removed and then we can go ahead and start restaining with the black stain. This sander is awesome and I'll definitely link it down below for you guys. I just used some pretty fine sandpaper just to remove the little bit of stain that was left and it worked like a charm. A side note, I documented this whole process over on my Instagram. So if you guys are not following me on there, definitely be sure to follow me. I post all of the DIYs that I'm doing in real time over there. So definitely check out my Instagram if you're interested on in keeping up to date with me yay okay guys so the sanding worked it looks amazing it looks great I'm so excited I'm just gonna wipe it down and then it'll be finally ready for paint Okay guys, so the time has finally come to stain this table. I decided to go in with this wood stain in the color Classic Black and I just applied it using a foam brush. I really, really, really liked how it came out and I highly recommend staining your furniture if you can instead of painting it just because staining gives it a cleaner look as opposed to painting. I ended up applying two coats of this stain all over the table. The first coat I applied and wiped it down and and the second coat I decided to just put a generous amount and leave it on. Leaving it on just gives it a more opaque look. This is what the table's looking like. I don't want to show you the other half because this patio is a mess but it's looking so good. I just went ahead and added a second coat of paint and it really just made the whole thing a lot more opaque so I'm really happy with the color. I'm going to let this dry overnight and then tomorrow I'm going to go in with the sealant just to protect it and give it more of a polished look and then it'll be ready good morning everyone and welcome to the last day of the table makeover last night i ran over to home depot and picked up some of this rust-oleum lacquer spray paint this is going to provide an ultra smooth finish to the table without leaving brush marks i decided to go with the spray as opposed to like brushing it on because I really, really don't want to leave any brush lines. So I went with the spray instead and let's see if it works. Okay guys, so with that being said, that was terrible advice. Don't take it. I'm telling you, the spray was horrible. I'm pretty sure I burned about half of my brain cells using this spray and it didn't even end up giving the table a finished polished look like i hoped it would if i could do this again i would use a water-based polyurethane and apply it with a foam brush this is going to probably leave a little bit of brush lines but i would much rather have slight brush lines than burning through half of my brain cells you can't say i didn't tell you just an update on it it's looking really good i've sprayed it I have no idea how many times, but I have gone through three different cans of spray paint. So I think it's looking good. It's still a little blotchy, but I can't tell if it's blotchy because it's wet or because it's uneven. So I'll give it a few minutes, maybe about 30 minutes to dry up. And in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and start preparing the glass. This is the glass for the table. And there is some goo on it still. I guess they use some sort of like glass adhesive to attach it to the table it's so heavy i don't think that that's necessary but there is a lot of goop on it if you can tell so i'm gonna go ahead and clean that off and then i feel like we're almost done we're almost there guys <laughs> So it's the end of the day and I just wanted to update you guys on the table. I literally used four cans of the spray paint and this is what it turned out like. I think it's ready to go. I'm just going to leave it here to dry and then we're going to bring it in and style it and then I'll show you the final reveal. Mm -hmm. 
So after three full days of working on this table, I'm so excited to finally show you all the final reveal. Before I do though, let's go back and take a look at what this table looked like before. This table, although it was beautiful, was a hot mess. The stain was completely faded off. It was super blotchy and it really just needed some tender love and care. With a bit of scraping and sanding and a little bit of stain, I was able to transform this table into this. I hope you guys enjoyed the furniture flip. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and as always, be sure to hit subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.